Hi guys, welcome to this video about how you can use Chimdu for free. Uh, yeah, there are two options actually, a free and a pr uh, premium version. You can use, uh, or how to can, <laughs> how you can use Chimdu for free and pretend to have a paid account so nobody will see that so you can save money so chimdu is actually it's a web hoster it's a web development tool it's a yeah it's basically a site where you can create your website see make it easy create your website with chimdu start now and this is really really easy you click on that you select yeah, of course you have to sign up first and but then you select a template fill in your text your pictures email address everything you can basically create a website within half an hour or so or maybe 15 minutes and it looks really good so the problem only is um, when you have yeah pricing I hope I can see that so there's a yeah here you can see that there's a business for twenty dollars per year no per month but billed annually uh, so yeah uh, I mean and the bestseller well, usually people or private people you're using is the the pro for seven fifty per month billed annually and also there's a free option and the problem is with the free option you can see that you get you don't get uh, oh, what's that remind me late Windows updates they are a little bit oh uh, I mean bothering me yeah anyway so you get all the basic features but you uh, here what you get this is the problem you get just a subdomain so when you make a page like when, when you want to make a, a page like www.mycoffeeshop.com this doesn't work with the free option of course so you see yeah i can't show it <laughs> I can, whenever i move the move the mouse pointer up uh, it goes away so you will see in the black frame it you will end up with a url like www.yourname.chimdofree.com that means it would be like www.mycoffeeshop.chimdofree.com and that looks really silly of course when you do a coffee shop and invest 100,000 into a build out and everything so it's probably worth the, the money but when you do just uh, maybe a small thing when you do some online selling or whatever you try something um, maybe you want to save at the, mo uh, at the beginning as much as you can and then of course you want uh, something which is for free or uh, as much uh, as cheap as possible but you don't want to have a silly looking page um, and with a subdomain and gym do free that looks really silly the rest or most of the things which i have seen are not so much a problem but also there's a problem with the email i don't see it now maybe they just that's strange why I can't see that maybe I find this information here no I can't see that but I think it's still the same I mean when it's still the same then the problem is also that you don't get an email address you can't use then um, yeah I mean basically I tell you later <laughs> about the email it's a little bit complicated so anyway so that's the worst thing you have get just a, a, a subdomain so but anyway you can go ahead it's no problem go ahead create a page and then uh, the thing is uh, you can host your website also on Chimdu so you see you get even when you do this 
um, bestseller thing this pro you would get a free domain for the first year so that's a really good thing when you are ready to pay when you don't want to pay then uh, it doesn't help you of course um, but anyway you need some kind of um, web register or I don't know how it's called in English like uh, somebody who um, has the basic information about your website so that has doesn't have to be Chimdu there are a lot of companies like United Domains like GoDaddy like there are a whole list of companies uh, which are like they are hosting companies they are or registrars there are so anyway so when you want to reserve a website you can do this on a lot of pages and you I think you can even do that on Google at least it was possible for for a while so my tip what's my recommendation um, yeah here with this free thing there's no way to uh, work with that and get a normal domain name so what you do you go to um, register or I don't know how they are called um, like GoDaddy or let's go here GoDaddy.com I think I've even made an uh, uh, like an account yeah you see that yeah I've tried to find um, a comparison a, a, a website comparison about these registrars but uh, I haven't found it's really strange uh, when I google that I just get to all these uh, pages I don't know when I remove that maybe oops okay that's not the thing I wanted so yes let's get rid of this thing or here now I found those yeah so consumer ranking best hosting picks so some companies of yeah I mean I think the most most of them are registrars and hosting companies doesn't have to be but most are probably so you see Bluehost iPage start logic host gate a lot of them I have never seen so and they have different functionalities but probably they um, yeah they would all do the same thing as I recommend but I've been working with United Domains it's a really good company uh, they have been around for or since a uh, long time probably 15 years or so I have registered my first domains probably 15 or 20 years ago I don't, can't remember with them and they have always been quite reliable and they at least work for this function so here sorry for the whole delay um, here we have it this thing two things which we actually need so this is just a picture because I don't have um, yeah everything here on my computer here so I've made a picture from the other computer so uh, basically that's united-domains.de if you want to have it on German if you like it in English you better go to United Domains without dash United Domains dot Com. it's actually the same company so I think I'm still I'm, I'm just continuing with the uh, com uh, page but probably they started in German so um, they still have this page anyway the the bad thing is um, yeah I I don't have any domain now in United domains.com so I have only one domain here left uh, at the German site and so the page is in English so I'm very sorry for that but what you actually need you have to go open an account here then you uh, there's a search uh, what you can what you can do you search for your domain which is uh, if it's available like uh, the uh, mycoffeeshop.com 
you um, then buy it you yeah probably pay 10 or 20 bucks per uh, year but you don't do any hosting so you don't have uh, buy web space or you don't use a web builder website builder or anything just buy the domain here so uh, that then everything they will register your domain and you can configure it and what you can do two things there's um, yeah in English it will be probably called something like website forwarding so you need that you have to activate when you are when you bought your domain the name which you are which you like your coffee shop.com or something like that you go then uh, to my account and where you have everything and then you on the right side on your dot co uh, my coffee shop.com you have a config and then you go here and you get to this site and then you make you can do this website forwarding and you click on that and you uh, can say uh, specify to which page every call in every invocation of your website will be forwarded so you can basically just say you can say that every time somebody types in www.mycoffeeshop.com let's say when, when somebody clicks on Google listing or your ad or whatever so they will be forwarded to the Chimdu website with the subdomain so instead of that uh, mycoffeeshop.com will be invoked which does not exist it it's never it's not no, not in any directory or so it will go to chimdu and invoke the www.mycoffeeshop.chimdufree.com and you can even type on the United domains in the cof configuration here that nobody will see that it's forwarded so I've been testing that and if you do everything right it's easily possible nobody will see that they are on this Chimdu free site there it looks everything really professional the second thing is when you go to when you then have this Chimdu free website there's a problem that uh, think I can't remember exactly what it was uh, I think it was feedback or something like this they have this build builder and uh, so feedback forms and when you do um, feedback I think it would go no <laughs> can't remember anymore that's that's a little bit difficult so anyway um, yeah maybe uh, if you have the question maybe we can talk about I can't really remember any anymore how this really worked how I got into this problem because when you have a form on your page you create your website and then you can yeah emails it should be anything possible to yeah sorry about that <laughs> it's really it, it I, I can't remember I, I just wanted to make this video bef before I forget everything but it was working for some reason I had to do also the thing maybe I will make an new website and do everything again and I will make then another video but what what you also probably will need is this email forwarding too because I really had this problem for some reason uh, they make it really complicated as well um, yeah or, or the problem is when you don't have this domain yeah let's say I think it was like this when you have 
and a form like a feedback form so clients they want to give you feedback on info at mycoffeeshop.com so there's a problem that you don't have like you, you don't have this website but you don't have the web spies right under your name you don't you just have this free uh gym to free so and you don't want to have emails at uh, to a to a subdomain which is called gym to free so you want to have the feedback directed to the mycoffeeshop.com and so that's the possibility what you have so you can also make this email forwarding here so that it looks like people are sending emails to info at uh, mycoffeeshop.com or um, yeah owner at web, my web, uh, mycoffeeshop.com or, or anything like this so unfortunately i can't show you the details i just wanted to make this video as long as i can remember some some of the details i'm sorry i don't know all the details but it's possible i just can tell you it's possible if you want to save money you can do that just go to the chimbu chim do make a free website then go to unitedDomains.com. Um, then uh, buy your website the website name dot but don't do the website web space uh, don't do website building here create the website with chimdu and when you're happy when everything is correct then do the linking of the email and linking of the website so that means you can save some money yeah i think that's about it so i'm really planning on a new website so maybe in a month or two i will be able to make another video about that and i will be able to show you in detail how it works but if you have some basic knowledge it's really easy actually uh, when you have some basic internet knowledge it should be possible for you to do that so Anyway, if you have any questions, just write to the comment section below. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.